Well, welcome back to the Paper 2D tutorial. Uh, t in this tutorial, this is the final tutorial of the Paper 2D series that I'm working on. It is going to involve destructible platforms. Now, these platforms aren't going to explode or anything like that, though you can easily make them do that. But the ball's going to hit them, the, the platform's going to vanish along with the ball that hit it. Not any random ball, but just the ball that hit the platform. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. First thing we need to do is we need to go down here into our sprites. And just like with the ball, we need to take our platform, we need to go to Asset Actions, and we need to create a blueprint. We have this blueprint. Uh, we'll call it Platform Underscore Destroyable, all right, just for so we know what it's there for. All right. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to put a few things in here as far as script goes. All right, we don't need to do anything with this because if we click on it, we see this nice little yellow box. That's the collision. Okay, that right there is the collision. All right, so we come down here and we do the same thing we did with the with the ball. We're going to ignore our collisions. We're not going to block all dynamic. We're just going to we're going to ignore the pawn. We don't want the vehicle. We don't want the pawn to be able to interact with this at all. All right. So we're going to go with ignore pawn. Right. We're going to make a event for it. We're going to go to on component hit. We're going to go over. We're going to destroy actor. We're going to We're going to destroy actor. Okay, target is actor. We're going to link that up, and then the other thing we're going to do is we want to destroy the actor of the ball. So what we have to do in order to do that is we have to get a ball variable. So we need to go in here. We don't want to do that. We want to do it this way. Cast to ball. Uh, oh, other actor. My apologies. Cast to ball. All right. So we cast the ball. Do that. Okay. And now that to there. And we're going to connect that to that. So now when we destroy this, when we hit place this in the level, blueprints we're going to be able to destroy it. So we'll place one there and one here that's kind of rotated that way at you. All right, so now we're going to play. So now my ball can't hit it at all, so I messed up. Did I? Did I? I don't think I did. Promote to a variable with that. Okay. Sometimes you got to promote these things to variables for them to work properly. So we'll just delete that and then we're going to print a string here saying hello because, you know, hey, we hit it, hello, wake up, type thing. Okay. We are not hitting the ball or the thing. Why are we not hitting the thing? All right. Well, we're going to reset the collision on this for a minute because I think that might be causing part of it. Because the ball is part of the pond, is coming off the pond. So we're going to lock all dynamic again for a minute. Still not. Oh, I know why it's not. When we put things into the world, we really need to make sure that the Y value is set to zero. Because when you just drag and drop into the world, it's set back against the, the backboard here, and that's back 150. So if we go back into here, and we just simply go back to the ignore only pawn, we should be fine though. So, and as you can see, 
we destroy the platform. Now it doesn't destroy the ball because I turned that portion off, but all you have to do all we do is we go in here, we do control C, we copy it, we drop that, we drop the new variable in, we get it, and then we drop the ball. And that will also destroy our ball as well as anything that hit with it. And that's pretty much all there is to that. It's fairly simple. I hope you have enjoyed this series. Um, it's the first series I've done, and I'm hoping to make more with FPS stuff and other Unreal Engine things. If you have a question or a concern or even want to know how I did something in more depth, uh, leave it in the comments below, or I'll leave have my Skype information in the bottom, and you can hit me up there. Thank you, and I appreciate you all watching.